Hi everybody and welcome to Painting Your Prayers with Pastor Sue. My name is Sue Trowbridge and I've been an open and affirming United Methodist pastor for 25 years. The title of this piece is Love Never Ends and I painted it when a girlfriend of mine who's been my friend for decades um, lost her husband and her son on the same day just before Christmas this last year. Her husband was elderly and he had battled dementia for many, many years and his death came as a blessing. But her son was in his 50s and he had um, battled cancer for six months. So it was a much more surprising death and much more difficult for anyone to lose a child even as hard as it is to lose a spouse, it's even worse to lose a child. So I focused on the loss of her son in this painting. And I paint used uh, a mirror and a foal to symbolize the two of them. I used dark clouds to symbolize the sadness that she felt and blue willows to express her grief, but I also included flowers to show hope and the aura around the animals to show the spirituality of their relationship. Even though I painted it right away for her, I am waiting until Mother's Day to give it to her, which is approximately five months after their deaths occurred. And my reason for doing that is that I know from experience that the first five months of, um, after the death of a loved one, we are protected by shock. We don't really quite believe that our loved one has died. And very often, for most people, around the fifth month, is when that shock wears off and we are just faced with the devastation of our loss. Also, the first year is terribly hard because we have to go through each one of the holidays without our loved one. And I'm imagining that Mother's Day is going to be terrible for my girlfriend to not have her son there to express his love for her and his gratitude for her because she's been a wonderful mother. In hospice, they talk about the importance of diving into our grief. They say that, that uh, grief comes in waves and that the best way to handle it is to face it, to dive into the waves because they say the only way past it is through it. And the goal is to get to a place where we can accept that we will not be seeing our loved ones until we see them in heaven, which can be a very long time and a very difficult period of time. And when we accept that, um, when we have cried all the tears that we need to cry, received all the hugs that we need to receive, and um, poured our hearts out to God in prayer, then we finally can get to that place that we call <clears throat> the peace that passes understanding, which only God can give. And when that happens, then we are free to love again just as deeply as we did before the death. If we deny our grief, if we hide it, if we delay it, then we will not really risk loving again quite as deeply unless we are willing to face the consequences of losing that person. The title, Love Never Ends, comes from the scripture from 1 Corinthians 13 where Paul talks about love and love being the most important thing in life, even more important than faith and hope. Um, that, and how love is patient, love is kind, 
Love endures all things and believes all things and that it never ends. And we have this faith, we have this hope through our belief in God and our acceptance of um, the gift of eternal life that we have through our faith in Christ. When we have loved ones who are grieving, the best thing we can do is to show them our love. This was my expression of my love. And there's a song that says, Only love can break your heart. Only love can mend it again. And that is so true. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope to see you again next week.